Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku. Today is Sunday, March the 10th, 2024. This looks to be an interesting grid. I was surprised that the newspaper was generous enough to give us six digits in box one, but as a consequence, there's almost there's absolutely nothing in box seven or box three, but the rest of the boxes are rather well occupied. Two, five, there's nine in the top three rows, four, seven, ten in the middle three rows, that's 19, then 21, 24, 25. So 25 digits in all, and let's see what we can get with them. So I may as well fill out the triple that's left in box one. I need three, seven, and eight. But seven can't go here, so seven must go in one of those two. But none of the other digits are seen, so 3, 7, 8 in that configuration. This is a departure from my normal start, but those two 6s will put a 6 down there. These two 4s are going to put a 4 in those two. This can't be 4 because of that, and this can't be 6 because of that. This 8 and this 8 will put an 8 one of these. This 7 and this 7 actually places that 7. How generous of them. And then this 7 and this, this 7 and this 7 combine to force it over there. Anyway, where were we? In the middle three rows, uh, these 2s, well, that's a 2. This 2 and this one is going to force one down there. Let's see, two, seven, eight have all one place, right? Oh, and those ones are going to force a one in one of these two. Okay, two, seven, eight, one, eight, seven, two, one, one, eight, one, two, seven. Okay, nine and five are the only digits that do not have repeats in the middle three rows, and I can't do anything with it. But these fours are going to force a four in one of those two, and that's all I'm going to get. as far as scanning the bottom three rows. Now, if I switch vertically, these twos force it there, which I've already done. These two fives force a five in one of these two. This can't be five because that one looks left at the far right of row seven. Uh, two, five, and that's all I'm gonna get as far as the leftmost three. What about the middle three columns? These two fours force actually force this one to be a four. But I don't know where a four is in row five or six, so I can't do anything else after I place that digit. Okay, and those two eights are going to force that one. Okay, eight four eight four eight four. What do I have left? One f two six nine. I'm done, except for the twos. Twos up there, and then in the rightmost three columns, eight seven four one two five six. I'm done. I can't do anything with any of those digits. Okay, I gotta see what looks up and in. You know, actually, uh, oh, well, okay. Box 5 looks interesting. 1, 8, 7, 5 look into it as a row. 1, 8, 7 is in here. 5 looks in and those are rolled out, so this must be a 5. It's the only space left. That means one of these two is a 5. This 5, I have nothing in the columns. Okay, the, these two cells are 3 and 6, neither of which I know about. But that tells me I know what this digit is. That must be a 9. It's the only thing left in the row. And this 9 and this 9 will force a 9 down here. I still haven't ruled this out as an 8. If this was not 8, then this would be an 8-9 pair, but I don't know that. Okay, uh, three, oh, 
well, these two can't be 6 because of that, so this must be 6 in the column, and therefore that's a 3. This is a pair, 1 and something, 1 and 3, and this has 1 looking at it, so that's a 3, that's a 1. Let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8 in column 5. Seven. Oh, that's resolved. That's not seven. Okay, two, four, six, eight in column five. So I'm left with one, three, five, seven, nine, and seven's already ruled out. This one sees one, three, five, and seven. That's a nine. It can't be anything else. Now nine's down here. So this eight means this is not eight. So I've got 8, 9, and 2 of these 3 cells, but that's all I know. Okay, but this is a triple. I'm left with 2, 7, and what appears to be 5. Okay, this is 2 or 7. It can't be 5. This one's 5 or 7. This one is 2 or 5. And I can get rid of all the 2s and 7s from here, because I know that's down to a pair. 6 and 9 are down here. That has a 6 looking at it, which tells me the order. Okay, this is now a triple of what appears to be 1, 3, 5. That's any of them, that's any of them, that's not 5. Uh, let's see. Let's see, 8 and 9 are both over here because they're not over here. Uh, 1, 2, 5, 7 in the row 6 says I need 3, 4, 6, 8, 9. And these ones because they can't be 2, 7, 8, or 9. They could be 1, 3, 4, 5, 6. Those are from 3, 4, 6. Because neither of these can be 8 or 9. That's not 6. That's not 6. Okay, let me clean this up. Okay, I don't get anything useful from that. Five looks at this. So five in the box, okay. So those aren't five. Erg. Well, actually, yeah, one's over here where we knew that. I've got 8 and 9 over here. Nothing else with it. And I got 1 there. But 3, 4, 6 have way too many possibilities. Well, this top 3 rows all have 5 digits in it. So I might try that next. 1, 2, 4, 8, 9. Three, five, six, seven for these cells. Uh, these are not three, four, five, six, nine, so they're one, two, seven, and eight. And eight being there, we don't have anything else useful at this point. These aren't one, three, six, seven, eight. So those are 2, 4, 5, and 9. Now, 4 is here, we knew that. 
Eight's here, we knew that. Okay, one isn't one of those two. Excuse me. Nine's in one of these two. They don't interact with anything else yet. Don't want to fill everything in, but okay. This one sees two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I think this is one or three only. Two, and then the rest of them. Yep. Okay, that gives me a one-three pair. Uh, this in row seven. This one. Sees two, four, six, seven, nine. This is one, three, five, or eight. This one sees two, six, seven, or nine only. It's one, three, four, five, eight, and as expected, five is one of these two. Am I getting anything useful from here? Well, this cell can't be one or three. But it couldn't have been in any way. One, two, three, four, five, and eight are out. So this is six, seven, or nine. Only this one is not one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, this is these one, two, three in the column, four, uh, and five in the column, four, six by the row, seven, nine by the row. That's a hidden eight. It can't be in anything else. So that's not eight, and that is. These aren't eight. Okay, this is from four, six, seven, nine, but not six. Okay, these cells are not four, five, seven, eight. Start with that. That's annoying, but it can't be one or three because of the pair in the row. This isn't six or nine. That's not two or six. Okay, one, three, four, five, eight are placed here. So two, six, seven, and nine are what's left. This is two or nine only. It can't be six or seven. And this is two or seven. It can't be six or nine. Put six there, and nothing else useful comes out of it that I can see. Seven's here. Again, we knew that already. See, this one sees one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a three. It can't be anything else. Annoyingly, that's not three, but that doesn't help. Oh, no, I guess it does. This is one five, and with a three place, that's a two. So this is not two. Six nine. Okay, I put two there. The six nine doesn't really do any good. Not that I can see. Okay, these are the only ones left. Those are not two, three, four, five, six. So these are strictly from one, seven, eight, nine. So I'm left with that configuration. I've got eight down here. 
again, I knew that. Four here, and nothing else in the box for rows of four. Seven here, and nothing else in the column where the box is seven. Same thing with two there, and eight there. And five there. I got two thirds of a three, five, six, and then I can't do anything with it. But one, nine, two, nine, one, two. Ah, uh, that's a one, two, nine hidden triple, I think. These cells that I'm marking in red. Because none of them are three, five, six. If this is a 129, then this cell is forced to be a 5. Now that's going to sort out 2, 7, 5. This 7 is going to sort out that as an 8. Okay, this is 3, 6, 7, so that can't be 7. That's a triple. Two, so this is gone. So that must be nine because it can't be anything else, and that's a five. No, four. So three, five, uh, that's seven, six. That triple, which I didn't even mark, is now fixed. See, that's not eight, and this is. Seven makes that two, that nine. This two comes up. One, two. This nine comes over. That's a six. That's seven. So these are one, three. And that's all we've got. Excuse me. <coughs> um, this six comes over in row five. That's a four. So nine. Oh, look, that's now down to one, three, which makes this five. That four. I've got a one three pair in box seven that's offsetting. This five makes that one three five, and that's going to sort out the rest of my one threes. The bottom of the grid, these three and six, that's nine, that's one. I think the puzzle just collapsed. Yep, 17 minutes. Not terrible. I needed to see this one nine two hidden triple, and that was the key. In column seven, it was fairly straightforward otherwise. And thank you for joining me this morning.